And here is the Writer's Almanac for Sunday. It's the 20th of December, 2020. It's the birthday of the Russian writer Yevgenia Ginsberg, who was born on this day in Moscow, 1904, teacher, journalist. When she was 32, she was arrested in a roundup by the state. Her husband, parents, also arrested. Ginsberg, sentenced as an enemy of the people, served 18 years in prison and forced labor or exile, 10 years in Siberia. She survived to write memoirs of her time in the Gulag, Journey into the Whirlwind and Within the Whirlwind, published abroad, but 12 years after she died in 1977, her books were finally published in the Soviet Union. It's the birthday of Hortense Kalischer, born in New York City, 1911. Father was a manufacturer of soap and perfume. Kalischer grew up well-to-do during the Depression, did not try to publish anything until she was almost 40, sent some of her stories to The New Yorker, which published five of them. First novel, False Entry, was published in 1961, 600 pages long. After that, she turned out book after book, 23 novels and short story collections. She was 90 years old, Hortense Kalischer, when she published her last novel, Sunday Jews, in 2002. And two years later, her memoir, Tattoo for a Slave. It's the birthday of W.B. Yeats's great love, the Irish revolutionary Maud Gunn, born in Surrey, England, 1865. They met when they were both 25 years old. He fell in love with her right away. He was in love with her for the rest of his life, William Butler Yeats. She was tall, beautiful. Yeats wrote, I had never thought to see in a living woman such great beauty, a complexion like the blossom of apples. In response to one of Yeats's marriage proposals, Maud Gunn told him, you would not be happy with me. You make beautiful poetry out of what you call your unhappiness, and you are happy in that. Poets should never marry. Years later, she wrote a letter to him and said, Our children were your poems, of which I was the father, sowing the unrest that made them possible, and you the mother who brought them forth in suffering and in the highest beauty. It's the birthday of the poet novelist Sandra Cisneros, born in Chicago, 1954, author of the coming-of-age novel The House on Mango Street, widely read in middle schools and high schools around the country. She was the third child in a family of seven children, spent most of her childhood moving back and forth between Chicago and Mexico City, and she drew on her own background to tell the story of Esperanza, a Latina girl growing up in a rundown Chicago neighborhood who dreams of living in a real house. Here's a poem for today, lines from Intimations of Immortality by William Wordsworth. There was a time when meadow, grove, and stream, the earth and every common sight to me did seem apparelled in celestial light, the glory and the freshness of a dream. It is not now as it hath been of yore, turn wheresoe'er I may, by night or day, the things which I have seen I now can see no more. The rainbow comes and goes, and lovely is the rose. The moon doth with delight look round her when the heavens are bare. Waters on a starry night are beautiful and fair. The sunshine is a glorious birth. And yet I know, where'er I go, that there hath passed away a glory from the earth. William Wordsworth from Intimations of Immortality. That's the writer's almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.